the writing process um, for this band was very different and kind of things that I'd done with Glenn before. A lot of the time Glenn would finish the ideas and we would come in and, and just arrange. This time it was collaboration, I'd say. Andrew and Glenn and myself, we sat in a rehearsal room um, for a week and kind of just, we all had these little bits and pieces of riffs and ideas and melodies and lyric. But really we kind of said, okay, well that, that bit could be better and this bit could be better. And, and Dave, Dave Cobb, the producer, was great at, we would play him something and he would suddenly, after listening to it, when, the net, when this part, one part would come in, he'd go, why have you waited a minute before this really cool part? He said, let's get rid of all of that bit and let's start with the really cool part. <laughs> so it, it, was, it was a very cool way of, uh, he was very honest. He, to him, he didn't care whose idea it was, who started the idea, if it was personal to somebody. He was completely neutral. So his honesty would show. Jason, he came in here and he gave it his all. And the guy really kind of, um, I don't know, man, he poured it all out. And I don't know if he's ever kind of done that but he did it he did it and he, and he definitely it was kind of a shock and awe thing on the drums I mean he had so much power and so much enthusiasm and so much just pure talent and raw energy that uh, man I just don't know very many people that could even come close you know and an absolute you know comedian when he's not behind a drum set and even on the drum set as well you can just tell he's having having a good time and kind of messing with you when he plays and man what a what a talent insanity the guy's insane he would get you and go, let's try it one more time and then we'll go for it. So when we were trying it one more time, that was it. We didn't get to do the now go for it, um, which was very clever. He, un he, he, he understood that that's the best that we worked that way. When we felt this wasn't the one, it really was the one. And uh, as I said, I mean, I've done quite a few albums now in my life um, and to be trusted again to go into a studio these days and, and, and record a tape, old school performance, you know, you've got to play, there's no, oh we'll fix it, you know, we'll do six takes and then make a drum track afterwards with Pro, Pro Tools. This was, you had to play, you have to be able to play your instrument, so it was nice to get back to that.